Britain is quite a liberal society, and uh, we have far more racist violence than we have transphobic violence in this country. So that is a message that's come through trans activism and has been repeated uncritically uh, by many a media <laughs> outlet and is backed up by Stonewall surveys where they ask people, have you ever felt aggressed? You know, so a lot of those surveys are based on people's fe reported feelings, and that's not the way you would normally look at levels of violence. You would, it's complicated, because obviously convictions are not going to absolutely represent crime, but certainly you shouldn't just go around to a bunch of people and say, do you feel like you're, you've been a victim of a hate crime lately? And particularly not when you're telling them that a hate crime is to misgender them. So, in other words, I would push back a bit on that first assumption, but let's say that I grant you that assumption. I'm afraid it doesn't follow that people that are subject to violence are not violent. <laughs> I think you need to talk to some criminologists. If you take tr the number of trans women in prison in Britain, and you get the same stat in the US statistics, at least 50% are in there for sexual assault, okay? So, <laughs> and then that's a higher rate than the average male. Now, that is not to say that I am saying that trans, there's something about being a trans woman that makes you violent. I am saying that we need to look at those. You asked me to provide some evidence. I provided you some evidence. I hate to be the one that keeps having to tell people this sort of thing because it absolutely, you know, is the sort of thing that these people outside totally misunderstand about what I'm saying. Yeah. But somebody has to say it. You can go and look at the stats yourself. What I think is crazy is to try and have laws and policies based on what is essentially something totally internal that no one else can see. And uh, trans activism tells us all the time that no one can tell you what your gender identity is, only you can know. And we're supposed to accept what someone says about their gender identity as soon as they say it. And if that is the, the basis on which people are getting access to certain spaces where women are vulnerable, or sports teams, or shortlists or whatever it is, it's just way too open to, um, to malfeasance. His safeguarding is um, an area where you're supposed to be quite paranoid. You know, you're supposed to have extra safeguarding in, even though not every male predates, yeah. but you still say in the safeguarding of children, you, you, you do a lot of things to stop that paedophile from becoming the nursery teacher or whatever, extra things. like, And, and that's not to say that every nursery teachers are paedophile, ridiculous. So in the area of changing rooms or prisons or whatever it is where women are getting undressed, you're supposed to do extra stuff.